Hi there, and welcome to today's video. With today's video, I'm looking at the latest podcast that has been put out there into the uh, World Wide Web by Professor Tim Noakes and his whole Banting Cronies. And it just simply blows my mind what Professor Tim Noakes is advising the world at large. It's simply it's inexplicable really the latest that's, that's come forward as far as the uh the his podcast today is concerned is looking at legumes in other and he's looking particularly at chickpeas as well as lentils and what he's saying is that because of the phytic acid content within your lentils and chickpeas you shouldn't be eating them whereas yes lentils and chickpeas do contain phytic acid and how do you get rid of the phytic acid from your lentils and chickpeas simple you get rid of the phytic acid by soaking them now i don't know about you but when i prepare my lentils and chickpeas for cooking I soak them first and I rinse them, just simply because by soaking them first means that they cook so much easier and they use up so much less energy in the cooking process. So soak them, rinse them, and then start cooking with them. As dead simple as that, you get rid of the phytic acid. But then it goes on to make what the his main point which as I, as I mentioned it, it left me absolutely stunned he mentions lentils and chickpeas and legumes in general as being not designed for human consumption and they these and with the phytic acid he uh, refers to it as an anti-nutrient something that prevents the nutrients within the food from being absorbed into your body but he says that this phytic acid toxin is being produced in the plants because the plants don't want to be eaten by humans. So, so what he's saying is these plants don't want to be eaten by humans. So don't eat plants. Instead, go and slaughter and eat animals. Eat dead animals. Which... I mean, let's, let's, let's just unpack this a little bit. These plants don't want to be eaten, so don't eat them. But instead, kill and eat animals. Now, animals being sentient creatures, would you say that these animals want to be killed and eaten? I mean, let's just get real here. But, that beside the fact, I mean, the, every week, the advice that's coming out of the banking group led, led by Professor Nose is getting more and more and more outrageous. And I'd love it if Freely and Duran Ryder had to jump onto this as well and just unpack this absolute absurdity about legumes being toxic because they don't want people to eat them. I mean, it's it's, it's just plain stupid and what's more it must be maybe it's as as a result of all of this saturated animal fat that Tim Noakes has been consuming as part of his his banting diet that's got him sitting with type 2 diabetes that's maybe dulling and slowing his mind down because as we all know eat too much fat your mind slows down the only way to speed up your mind once you've eaten too much fat is by banging back the, the caffeine, or for that matter, popping a couple of modafinils. And modafinil, as we know, is almost like a mixture between crystal meth and crack. It just, you pop a modafinil and bang, your attention, your focus is way sharp. But, as with all other stimulants, the modafinil wears out your adrenal system and you come crashing down uh, afterwards 
also that you need to keep on increasing, increasing your medicinal intake to be able to just simply maintain your current level of focus. But that beside the point. But please, in the comments and questions down, now post your comments and questions down below, and also let me know what you think about this ridiculous theory of legumes don't want to be eaten by humans, but so instead kill and eat animals. I mean, it's it's just blows my mind. But post your post your comments down below what you think of it. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down. That way I know what type of video content to be bringing out to you on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Share this video out amongst your friends. And also, last but by no means least, click that big red subscribe button down there as well. That way you stay subscribed to my channel for all of the videos as I post them on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time. Cheers.